Hi YouTube family. Hope everyone is doing great today. Last week I had a live and I said I have a surprise to share on Saturday, which is today or Sunday tomorrow. So that day has come today, Saturday, and we have a we have a surprise to share. Charmaine's kitchen would like to take the YouTube family with us to Guyana. We're going to Guyana and everybody's excited. We have everything packed. We're about to leave home to go to the airport. So come on down with us and let us start this beautiful journey. There is no better feeling like when you're going home to see family, loved ones, parents, relatives, friends, and especially when you can take your YouTube family with you as well. So come on down guys, let's go. Let me get my wave, wave. Here we are guys, going Hello. down to our gates to board the plane. We're gonna share more clipping as we go along. Miss Natalie's on the back. Oh. So guys, we are waiting to board the plane. We just check in, so now we are waiting to board the plane here now. See you guys when we reach Guyana. So excited. So this is the busy Pearson International Airport in Canada. This is located in Ontario. That's where we're boarding our plane to go to Guyana. So let's go. It's takeoff time. This is the exciting moment for us. We just can't wait now to get there and meet all our friends, family, and loved ones. The first hour flight for us after leaving the airport was kind of rough. There was a lot of turbulence and for me it was kind of scary. For all the years I've been traveling, this was the roughest one I ever had. Especially I was traveling with the kids so I was more scared for them. Flavorful. Mommy's food is the best. So guys, good morning and this is what morning look like and sound like in Guyana. Sound of the Kiskadi board. My mom have a dome tree over here. And this one here, what, what tree is this? Michaela lime? This is a gooseberry and a lime tree, no? Mm -hmm. Gooseberry and lime. And believe it or not, my mom have a grape tree, a foreign grape tree. Is there any grape on it? This is it right here. And listen, listen to that nice sound of bird and kiskadi here. 
and look at her fireside. I can't wait to cook on this. And this here is like a barbecue grill that they put on the side. Really nice, I like what they did with it. And this is something to rest the pot on. We call this a hopal. So we're gonna be cooking here soon. And that song, only in Guyana the market comes to you. Somebody selling fish. Selling fish, catfish, banga, kuras. And this is a cherry tree. I see one up there. You see Michaela? Cherry tree up there. This one here is a mango tree. And this one here is another cherry. And a pomegranate. I see one, two, three, four, five pomegranates on the tree. Oh my God. About five or six. I think one can pick already. And this is a celery, right? So that, and I see a little papaya tree over there. Oh, look at chi look chickens. I hear this rooster was was crowing this morning around four when we were chatting. Guys, look at that, a rooster at the back here, and then a hen and a little chick. Look the rooster right here. He's going that way. This is running tree on the bottom. Oh, sweet potato. A papaya tree is coming up and I see some thyme plants at the back here. And that's what the morning looked like, bright sunshine. And I can hear the fish man passing with his truck. So guys, I'm gonna keep showing as the day go by. Miss Kaylee. Michaela, this is my niece, and she just went and picked a soury for us. Michaela, is it sweet? How is it? It's very sour. Um, what you can make with this thing? You can make um a char with it. A char, and you can eat it with what? With chili. No, how you can eat this on its own? Salt and pepper, yeah. and it makes your mouth run water, right? So we're gonna eat it when we finish brushing our teeth. Guys, we just get up and we couldn't wait to come outside. So we're gonna eat it later. You're gonna bite it for them? Sure. Okay. Oh, and guys, there is more tr fruit trees around the yard. This is which one? This is another pomegranate. Diana, we say pom, pom grandma. And look, there's a bee nest on this one, Michaela. You see? And here is the sugar apple plant. Look at sugar apple. There's one, there's two, there's three, I see four, five, six. This tree is loaded with, loaded with, loaded with, loaded with. Oh my goodness. Gracious. We have to pick some, right? Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. Look one right here in the yard. Like over my head. You see this one? <laughs> Guys, this is one right here. So our first morning breakfast, we're having some thinly sliced Guyana plantain and chips. Look at this, and I'm gonna show the finished product. And we're having some um, fever grass tea with this today and milk. So fever grass just finished here. Look at that, it smells so, so nice because this is organic. And check out the plantain chips. Listen, listen to that sound. Hand cut by my mom. Some rice cooking here on the fireside. Look at that. I love the smell of fireside cooking. So nice. This is a good, good, very, very nice scent of the wood burning and the rice cooking here. Amazing, amazing. So my first day here and we are going to eat some half-ripe mango and salt and pepper. This 
pepper sauce my mom made it only yesterday and i can't wait to dig in and peel up these mangoes add some pepper sauce and salt and enjoy a real good guyana mango look how we normally peel our mango round and wrong like this unfortunately i just broke mine but it doesn't matter i am drooling at the moment are you guys drooling yet check this out this mango here is mostly on the ripe side but it can also be eaten with salt and pepper we're gonna peel up the other two and see how they look this one here is the perfect one for salt and pepper i can't wait my mom said this is a nice sweet one even though it look like if it's green but they're very sweet so salt is going in here now Ooh la la and that nice homemade pepper sauce is going in here you can't come to ghana and not eat some good mango and salt and pepper this is something we grew up on this is something we used to have on a daily basis and this is something that was fun when friends get together and have a good mango and salt and pepper guys when you see my eyes skin up like this you know this is a hot hot pepper okay you can, you can handle pepper a little bit please come come with me nice right the mango is sweet this is real guyana half ripe mango and salt and pepper this is how we do it outdoors in the fresh air this is a bite for you guys Mm -hmm. and friends this is what i'm having for lunch it's chicken cook up rice made with red peas and lots of thyme and married mom poke i have guyana lettuce and cucumber and a nice hot mariwiri or wiri wiri pepper i'm just enjoying my first day here in guyana and as you guys can hear me drooling behind the camera and we have something very special for dinner coming up so we're cooking up some crab curry here edo and squash and fireside style today i can't wait when it's done to show you guys so this is how we do it one big karahi full of crab curry with edo and squash our family here of three families we're going to eat this all with our fingers and enjoy but i'll let you guys know the taste as soon as i grab my plate what's the crab curry guys fire really side good. crab curry scrape it for the leftover rice here Charmaine and she brought a cook today crab curry with squash. This very lovely edo inside. So we have a nice dinner with all the grandchildren and so. And this is my plate, my friends. And you can hear in the background the spoons are knocking like crazy. This food is so good. Everybody's going back for seconds. And this food was cooked by my brother. So, Charmin's Kitchen, entire family are really, really big cooks. And I will be cooking with my brother lots more meal like this. I can't wait to dig in. I have a spoon there, but that's for the rice. But I'm going to go in with my hand and look at these crabs. Lovely. So, thank you guys for watching. This is my first day here in Guyana. All three my meals I share with you all. And there's a lot more of the Guyana video coming up. So please stay tuned, like and share and subscribe. Bye for now.